Welcome to Morning Coffee with Paul. It's National Aphasia Awareness Month. And I was thinking what I could provide that would be somewhat helpful to people who, like me, have aphasia. I've been in the word business all my life. I made a living teaching people to learn words. Not just any words, but winning words. And the way you assemble the things you say have a, a profound effect on the outcome. So when I was diagnosed with aphasia and couldn't talk. And I began to rebuild my language pattern on the right side of my brain, neuroplasticity. If you can study anything why not words that inspire you? So I had an idea to learn quotes that would help me develop my mindset and offset the anxiety and depression common with aphasia. The first step I had to develop a process, a routine that I believed was going to assist me in my recovery. Practice should be fun. Practice should be fun. Why not? So I sat down to write a series of modules that I believe would really help me along the way. So the first step is to select the quote. Then phrase by phrase, write it down, phrase by phrase, write it down. I would do this about 20 minutes. I would write, rewrite, write, rewrite. Every time I was doing that, I was building retention in my mind. I was rewiring something that I had lost the left side of my brain and restructuring it on the right side of my brain, neuroplasticity. Then I would read it over and over to myself about 10 minutes. Now comes the fun part. You must learn the quote. So I've written it. I've read it to myself. Phrase by phrase, I'm going to learn the quote. You must, you must build, you must build a bridge. You must build a bridge mentally. You must build a bridge mentally from where? You must build a bridge mentally from where you are now. 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 Sometimes I would slow it down to a snail's 
pays, you must build a bridge mentally from where you are now to where you desire to go. You must build a bridge mentally from where you are now to where you desire to go. So what we are actually doing is we are planting the seeds in our mind to develop massive recall. And we are rewiring, rewiring our brain. You can use inflection. For instance, you must build a bridge mentally from where you are now to where you desire to go. You can use cadence. You must build a bridge mentally from where you are now to where you desire to go. You can use pause, points. You must build a bridge mentally from where you are now to where you desire to go. Each point of inflection, each point of cadence, each point of pausing builds memory. You're just rewiring your brain. So I've learned many quotes along my recovery. And I don't say every word perfectly. I struggle a lot. But if you say good thoughts, positive thoughts, I believe you have to learn something anyway. Why not feed your mind the positivity it needs to deal with anxiety and depression and build, manifest in your mind the things you want to see come to pass. It will work. I know it will work because it has for me. Have a good day.